got 11 student teams today competing on an obstacle course with machines that they designed from scratch and uh, built, fabricated here at their school. One of the particular challenges of today's event compared to last year is that wheels and tracks of any kind are prohibited. So that leaves walking, hopping, crawling, slithering. Now the official rules here are that teams all start here in the starting block and you accumulate points as you go around the course, then you bank those points and you get back to the starting block. This is my team's robot, Aragog. He is an eight-legged spider, and he moves utilizing the clon linkage, which is basically a six-bar linkage that mirrors the movement of a spider. So this side and this side are controlled independently, um, so that to go forward, they run in sync in the same direction, and then to turn, you run one forward and run one backwards, and it's sort of like a canoe. It pivots around its central point. We did significant analysis considering the, the motion of the legs. You know, we really wanted to have you know, a flat bottom trace path for the legs and also sort of like a curved top. We also had to think about torque, uh, you know, what sort of forces were going to be going through this leg into the crankshaft. We also had to think about speed as well. You know, how fast should the legs move to you know, make this robot be able to go through the course at an appropriate speed. We ran into the challenge of not having enough sprockets, which are these things that are connected to the gear chain. Gears and sprockets are especially hard to machine because they have to be incredibly precise. But along with the instructors, we figured out a way to machine them using the lathes and mills in um, the Thayer's machine shop. We like to think that he has a little personality. He has pretty fluid movement. and. We have described Aragog as being wise and reflective when he walks. <laughs> 